So guys, I've had my Mavic 2 Pro for two years now and I've only started actively using it within the past few months. And I've got a couple tips that I wanna share with you to help make your drone flying experiences better and help you get better footage. In my head, just the tip two sticks. <laughs> Mike and all my friends here in Grisa and we're gonna try to do some footage by drone. Yeah guys so we're gonna use DJI's active tracking software and honestly it's not that difficult so check out the video. In my head. So our drone is in the air. Boom there is Anjali. So first thing we're gonna do is press this little controller on the left. Then we hit active track and we're going to put it in spotlight mode. Boom. So the aircraft camera will always head to the subject and the flight direction can be controlled independently. So that means it's going to follow Anjali and uh, yeah, I'm just going to fly the drone around and the drone's going to keep her in frame. How epic is that? All right, Anjali, let's send it. So, uh, yeah, starting off, hands are off the sticks, not doing anything, but I'm going to follow her. Tracking subject lost. Whoops, we lost her. Let's try to get her back. Okay, we got her back. Let's go. All right, a couple dudes in the way. There I am on the beach. Whoppa! How sick is that? Killing it. All right, so we're having moderate success with this. I'm getting the flying wrong. Thank you, Anjali, for being my subject. Unfortunately, the wind was a bit light for her to go massive. And uh, guys, we can get better shots. We can get closer to the subject. Check out this shot from yesterday when we were using spotlight mode and we got nice and close to me doing a kite loop board off. Unfortunately, the EV, the exposure value on the camera was a bit low, so it produced really dark footage. I rescued the footage a little bit in post-production, but it was so dark that the clip still came out pretty bad. So yeah, I look forward to showing you guys what we can accomplish with this someday. So we've checked out spotlight mode. Now let's check out the other two options, trace and profile. Boom. And then you go into active track. Then you'll get some options. You've got trace, which is pretty cool for following the subject. And now we are going to do profile mode, which is when you want to cruise parallel to your kite. So we go active track, boom, and we're going to put it on profile. I like to keep these little uh, suggestions on just so that we can still get the message in future if we forget what's what. All right, we are recording. Sorry, now we are recording and subject is tracked. And now we can get some sick riding footage. How cool is that? Boom. So guys, I like to use this for B-roll. It's also really cool for slides. Know how, how to fly it well before you take it close to the water. I have a Mavic 2 Pro and it can handle gusts of up to 40 knots. We've taken it out to Misty Cliffs when it's 40 knots and we fly it out 
perpendicular to the wind, but not upwind. It really struggles to go upwind in strong winds. If you have one of the smaller drones, like the Spark or the Mavic 2 Air or whatever else there are, um, I think those smaller drones really struggle in those strong winds. So yeah, be sure to get a high-end model if you wanna be cruising around on the strong days. Put your drone into sport mode when you're flying in strong winds. That gives the motors more power, but it also makes the camera movements more jerky. So you get a fast flying drone, but you get a little bit of jerky footage. I highly recommend getting an ND filter for when you're shooting on those bright sunny days. I use an ND8 filter. This goes without saying, but be careful of other kites when you're flying your drone. It's super easy to fly your drone into someone's lines or into the canopy, damaging both the kite and your drone would make for a really crappy day. You definitely want to have multiple batteries. I have three batteries and I very easily go through three in one shooting session. And yeah, I think I get anywhere between eight minutes and 15 minutes on a battery when I'm shooting in the wind. It just depends how strong it is and how much I'm moving the drone around. So today's video was focused on showing you how to use the active track features, not on showing you the best shots. And I'm looking forward to filming a lot when I'm in Brazil in the next few weeks to show you the epic shots we can get and to get really creative with the drone, get nice and close to the riders and get those unique angles that really capture how beautiful and amazing the sport is. So uh, yeah, like I say, not the best clips today, just more of a tutorial. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please be sure to subscribe. If you've got any questions or recommendations for my next Just a Tip Tuesday or YouTube video, just drop them in the comments. And of course, guys, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me get my videos out there. And uh, yeah, soon going to be on 13K subs. Thank you so much to all my subscribers. Muchos besos. Have a lovely day. Adios.